the other thing to consider when it comes to these genetic associ these genotype associations that have been made to aggression, those same associations have been made to people more likely to take risks, like credit scores. High credit scores are people that don't have, have this assertion, and low credit scores are those that are people who have taken a lot of risks and made some errors. Um, you also see that maybe it's not aggression, but assertiveness. Maybe if you're not an abu abused and you have this genotype, you're more likely to become a high-powered CEO or professor rather than a serial killer or murderer. To me, the underlying purpose of doing the research to understand behavioral traits is not for predictive value of using some sort of test to predict who is going to be a serial killer and who isn't. Rather, it's important to understand the mechanisms of the brain and to know what turns on, what turns off, and how this thing works. We have so much to learn with regard to the brain. We know very little about the human genome. We know even less about the brain. Even though we're 20 years into the human genome, we're only a few years into the brain initiative. We know very little. Understanding how the genetics influence the brain and how those neurotransmitters turn on and off, how the hormones work, this is all really important research. And part of that is doing behavioral genetics and understanding those underpinnings. Using it to do predictive testing is, is far-fetched and has a lot of social implications that are um, are going to require a lot of thinking and discussion before they're put into action. Um, I know that certain, certain, um, certain institutes might want to push for testing, might benefit from testing. Certainly our criminal justice system wants to do whatever we can to keep serial killers off the street. But there's a, um, we have a social obligation to to protect individuals, not to label them with a scarlet S for a potential serial killer. Um, so I think that, that we're a long, long, long way off from doing that kind of predictive testing. But it's extremely valuable to understand the genetic underlying mechanisms of human behavior. And this is all, this is what Leonardo da Vinci wanted to do. This is what, you know, all, all of the prior scientists are trying to understand the human and what makes us human, what makes us a human being. So certainly genetics is a part of that and that research is very important.